Good morning, fellas. So here, my rabbits. Um, I didn't record a video on day five, six, and this is day seven, I believe. And uh, it's because I was giving them new pellets on the video I did the other time, and I wanted to see uh, how they reacted to it. I wanted to pay attention to the pellets giving and um, to gather a few information to give you guys to know how to change rabbit's uh, feet. If you want to switch them up on a food or something like that, what you need to do. Uh, so here you can see uh, the water is almost done. So one of the first things that I just came in this morning to see, uh, to clean, to see what they are doing. Now, if you look in the corner right here, I don't know, for some weird reason, they like to go only in the corners and to poop and pee and do everything. So with the way the wire mesh is done, I don't know if you can see it well, it only gets stuck over there for a longer period of time and it's not healthy so i have to come in there and clean all these things up um, and then try to get them so i'm going to construct a new uh cage for them but i think i'm going to use only wires so that it feels a bit more um better so anything they do will go out directly so that it doesn't cause any diseases or anything to like infect them of a sort because i want to keep them healthy and clean at all times so here yeah, uh, this morning just in the house. I got this grass just from from the house um, Let me show you quickly So you can see this type of grasses over here this ones I just came in here and then took a healthy dose So like this one just held it a little bit up and then I just took some so you can see it You can see it right here with me and then i brought it directly to the cage I, of course you have to check it a little bit and see um if there are some animals or need some insects and all that and make sure you don't have infect them with something so yeah that is basically it but this is not what they'll be eating i'll still fill them on pellets but i just want to see uh, i want to get into hay making hay at home and uh, this is some of the grass so we have this in abundance at home so i'll just cut a few dry it in a, in a very cool place and then feed them together with the pellets i'm giving them uh, at the same time so i'm here to give you like updates on um the pellets and uh, what you need to do so you can see they are done eating completely everything is completely empty yep so these are some things to note like i told you they only pee in the corners yes and you see how the whole thing is and because of the metallic structure over there i'm not able to get in there so i need to find a way to like still clean it to keep it clean for them so i might maybe have to transfer them to the other cage right here so that i get access to this place to clean it so that it stays dry that way i can keep them always healthy that is what i'm thinking right now so yes uh, when i come into the uh, cage what i do is to try to uh, change the water you can see there's poop inside but one thing i will tell you guys for sure is that um, once they eat uh, the pellets or they are feeding on anything feed related like the grower mash from the chicken or whatever they drink a lot of water because that is quite dry and so they don't get water so you need to feed the, you need to give them water now this thing uh, yesterday in the morning I gave them the whole bowl full they drank everything uh, after about maybe 12 hours or so um or i think maybe like 10 hours and then i came in to like change it you know i i i, I added more and then this morning you see it's already halfway through so i have to like change this thing now clean it and then wash it so anytime you're giving them pellets and all that that is what you need to take into consideration now for those of you who don't know the pellets i'm giving this what i'm using right now it's called inshira feeds i got it here in ghana from one guy who does it handmade at home so this is how it looks like and there is the rabbit one I got. Um, this is the uh, stuff that I hanged over here. Uh, let me show you guys. So this is directly what you get from me. So in Shira feed, multi-purpose rabbit feed. You know, it can be fed to grass cutters, uh, grass cutters, guinea pigs, sheep, goats, cows, horses, and etc. And then over here, the energy level as to what you get is 2,400 calories. That is the energy level is going to give. And then crude protein is 18%, which is for the adults, a good thing or some things that you are keeping. Uh, I mean, for breeding and all that, this is a good way. Uh, and then crude fiber is 20%, which is also good because usually they have like um, sodium based, I mean, with the... Um, alfalfa they call it that that plant i think that is what it is so it has a little bit of fat uh which is 3.5 percent linzine which is 1.2 percent methionine uh, is 0.45 percent phosphorus is 0.8 and then calcium is one percent so 
this is what they go this very one here is 25 percent and that's what i'm going with so i keep this thing on here sorry for the dog barking it's in my neighbor's compound uh the other side so that is it so far let me just keep this one back here again and then continue with the video so um i have a way of feeding them in the morning uh i just put like one cup each because they have to eat anywhere between 100 to 150 grams the whole day uh, and then uh it is also important that you give them hay uh, or grass so that it will diversify their food they need that type of uh, roughages in their system to help with digestion uh, all these things i'm learning on the go and uh, if i make any mistakes you can also contact uh comment in the comment section below so that we can all learn together these are my three beautiful rabbits they are all females yes and this is what i'm trying to use to start the whole project so um i brought them in on the second of january so that we can all tailor the room i'm going to keep them now for two months which is january and february so that uh, after that i'll cross them and then we try to see uh, if they would be able to make me some babies and then from there we see how the growth goes so that is it right now um, i will switch them quickly to the other cage and then as well try to clean this one uh and then also feed them so that is just what is going to be for now i don't know what your plans are but later i told you guys the catfish will also be coming up pretty soon so once that is coming i'll keep you guys updated and everything if this is your first video you're watching this is me this is how i look like so you would know who you are dealing with my name is modine i'm a sparring farmer and i also do youtube i have another channel called modine m-o-r-d-i-n i do lifestyle travel related content and so anytime you're looking for a video to watch if it's agricultural related then you head on to this channel because this is going to be focused on the rabbits the catfish and then primarily go to other farmers and talk to them about what they are doing we learn along uh, alongside anything i find interesting i will share with you guys so that you know that um you can start projects in in like small with, with any project you have whether it's a big project or whatever you can start it in like small healthy ways and then do it right and then you scale it up so that's what we are trying to do with this one and also to document my whole journey so that you can follow it as well so that is it right now i'm going to give them the feed so that you see how it goes and then yep let's see it from here So this is what I'm feeding right now. This one cup, put it in right here. That's the pellets. So with the pellets, you try to always avoid overfeeding. So because they are three, I give them three cups each. And I'm also aware of the possibility of overfeeding. Um, because of the way I do it, I portion everything. I know uh, some of them might eat from here or there and one may be under eating and all those kind of stuff. I, I know I'm aware of it. Uh, but for now, this is how I want to keep them and to examine a few things and to see what is going on with them. So uh, you can see they are already eating right here. The camera is in their kids. Let me bring it out here so that you see their faces and how they are munching on the food right now. So one important thing you need to notice that when I switched them on the feed, they weren't eating at first. Um, and then this is how you get them to eat. Now, there are a few ways to switch rabbits on how to eat. Um, the first way is definitely um, to add it up to their meal gradually. You know, you add it up to their meal gradually. So um, any food you give them, you start introducing the new one to it like over a period of like 10, 14 days or so. And then gradually you start making the switch or you can go like a drastic way which is like starvation uh which is what i did um i gave them the food in the morning they didn't eat at all they just sniffed it and they went away so i left for town and then i came back home in the afternoon and i realized that they had eaten almost like half of it so then i know when they had nothing they had to eat it which is good 
um they are a bit picky that's why they they act like that but if you see they are still not eating don't keep them so hungry you know you just try to give them what they are used to and then try to add it up a little bit you get it or mix it up with their old food and all that stuff and then they will get eating from there i picked them from a totally different farm which has a different mechanism for them and stuff like that so now i'm trying to rope them on on uh rope them in on how i want them to go um so that's basically what i did to get them feeding and now as you can see in this shot they are eating now when i give them they just eat it directly and you see one is out there just chewing the grass i just put in there and then the other is resting in the back and um, these other ones are eating already so uh, maybe he's a little bit shy usually he comes to eat always very late once the two are feeding it also joins in later so this is what i was doing these are my observations for the past three days uh, on the new pellets they take their time before they start it and once they start they enjoy it fully now know when you're feeding pellets you need to also give them water water is very very important uh so that whatever they eat goes down well and then every now and then you mix it up with some grass so what i'm going to do is i'm going to cut more of the grass keep them maybe keep some hay uh over a few days and see how i can feed them with it or i can just feed them freshly uh but for now this is how it's going to be i'll quickly transfer them over to the other cage and then uh we take it out from there so finally done i moved them from this very cage right now you can see all the debris and stuff like that the urine i want it to dry up and i'll wash them right now um so i switched them over to this one this is not the cleanest of all but anyway i'm monitoring them a little bit right here that's their feed already in the box i positioned a bit on an incline so that they can like have it uh, ready i gave them fresh water and then i'm monitoring them the white one seemed a bit slow today but gradually is responding actively in a good way so i'll just leave it at that uh, they are trying to sniff out the room make sure that it's a place they can familiarize themselves with and all that kind of stuff which is normal anywhere you find yourself you do the same so yeah this is it i'm monitoring it it's becoming a bit slow like it's always a bit the white one i don't know what is wrong with it i don't know if it's um yeah, I would have to check it and monitor it later, but I'm paying attention to it. I'm home today, so I will spend the time and monitor them as well, because usually it's very, very active. Uh, but today it seemed to be a bit uh, slow than the rest. The rest are still normal, but I'll check it. I'll check it. That is it. Uh, so that is how I'm going to end today's video. It was about switching rabbit palettes, what to take note of. Uh, the important things um, when you are switching they may be a bit hesitant in eating but then you have to uh, either introduce it little by little so that they get used to it or you just go a drastic approach by trying to starve them a little bit it may not always be the ideal but in my case it worked just check out and do what works best for you so this is update a compounded one of day five six and then now day seven um every now and then i may do something like that and then get back to you whenever i'm trying something new today i'll make make sure maybe i cut a few grass and then try to like uh formate some um how do you call it hay for them over the next days um also I will try to see if I can get wheat, um, wheat grass, um, the seeds, organic from here. I don't know if I can get it in some of the shops, but I will try and ask around. If I get it, then I'll try to grow my own grass or so that I'll mix it up with the, um, with the um, how do you call it? with the pellets as more roughage, something to chew on, uh, because mo mo mostly when the rabbits are in the uh, wild that is what they they feed on they feed on grass and all that stuff so that's what i will be doing in the next days but i'll keep you guys updated uh let me know in the comment section what projects you're working on and if this video was helpful if you have any questions if you have any tips to give me and all that let's get it started thank you very much peace out